Hi guys, how you all doing? You're back with me Daza, and today on Daza Does, I'm actually quite excited. The reason I'm quite excited is because I get to try some more booze. Uh, now, if anyone knows me, they know I quite like a wee tipple. And if I'm not drinking beer, I like to drink rum. Uh, but rum's a very special occasion, it's like a payday kind of thing. You don't just go and buy rum the third weekend of the month. No, no, no. You buy it if you have a good wage, and that's about you. Or if it's a special occasion, like Christmas or do 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 So, on Christmas... Uh, I was giving loads of presents actually by everybody and the in-laws went and got me Phoenix Tears Rum, right? Spice Rum. I've never heard of it before. I've never seen it anywhere before. I don't know how new it actually is. But opened it up and I thought, what the hell is this? It came in a big, big kind of wrapped thing so if it fell it probably wouldn't smash which is quite good. So I seen it and I thought, right, but I said to the missus, like, ah, that, that's rum. But not only is it rum, right? It's actually got bits. What is it? Where is it? Oh, I don't know if it, is it. I don't think it's glitter, is it? Is it glitter? I don't know. It's glitter or gold, right? Whatever it is. In the bottle, look at that. See it? Oh, look at that moving about really much. Isn't that funky? That is absolutely mental, isn't it? Look at that. You see the camera in the background as well. Off. Oh, so. I didn't really want to drink it. I don't want to open it. As you can see, it's not opened yet, right? And that's been since Christmas. I've not opened it. I don't want to waste it. I don't know why. But, yet again, they bought me it to review it, to enjoy it. So, you can't let it sit there just because it looks pretty. If that was the case, I'd be sitting there my whole life. I'm kidding. Um, so, Missy said, go up, give it a review, give it a go. It's the weekend, so here we are. Um, I don't really want to try it. It's a 50cl bottle, right? Oh, the light's not there. A 50cl bottle. It's 40% alcoholic volume. Uh, on the back it says this bottle contains Phoenix Tears. Right? Shaped to resurrect their fable power. Sound. Uh, now, the, the rum itself is from a company called Firebox. Uh, you can go on their website, firebox.com, and you can find there their Phoenix Tears spiced rum. Uh, it tells you all about it. They've got more things as well. I'm actually on the computer at the same time, sorry. Um, and you can just find out a lot more about it. It's fantastic, absolutely. But I don't want to drink it, but we're going to have to. Um, when I first started drinking rum, uh, I always used to say it was, it, was, it was shit, right? I used to say, no, I'm not drinking it. I used to drink vodka. I'm not drinking rum. That's, that's shit. Shit, shit, shit. So, uh, I smelt it one day. I smelt it and I thought, oh, that smells very sweet. So I took a big swig of it out of a bottle, thinking it'd be a very sweet, easy drink to drink, but it's like vodka and everything else, it's quite strong, it's quite uh, pungent, do you know what I mean? So uh, um, I'm going to do this, I'm going to take a sip of this one and try it, but I'm also going to mix up a, a, a bottle of Diet Coke, because that's what I drink, in the, the day it's Morgan's and Coke, so we're just going to open the label. Come on, yeah, there we go, I'm sorry, I'll it. No turning back now. There we go, that's that bit opened, I'll just try it on the floor. Um, is it two bits too? Ah, oh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Aye, so guys, this is, this is uh, like only the, the third rum in my life I've ever tried. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Can't just put that off now. Wait, you can, you can, you can. Listen, I didn't really. Oh, there's something about taking a cork out of a bottle. It's magic. Oh, oh, it smells. Oh. It smells like rum, but do you know what it smells like? And you're going, someone's going to take the absolute piss at me for this, and rightly so. Back in the 90s, right, and I'm going back, what's that, three decades now. Um, used to get aliens, remember, anyone remember aliens? And they came in like an egg, and it was covered in like slime. And you could throw these aliens off the wall, and it was like a rubbery thing, and it would come back. It was a weird, very, very weird thing. They had a smell, the goo had a smell about it. And that's what I'm getting from that. So you can actually taste that it smells like, it smells like aliens and rum. It smells funky that, but uh, I've gave it a shake, but this, this stuff goes back down to the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It settles back down to the bottom again, the, the glitters. I'm give a wee, put it back in, give it a wee shake. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And we'll give it a wee go. Wow. Oh, probably not. So we'll give it a wee sip. <coughs> Strong. But I never drink alcohol like that in my life. Fucking hell, that's strong. Woo! Sweet Jesus. So, it tastes nice, it, t it, it leaves a big, ma it tingles your tongue. 
my Christ, that's nearly knocked me for six. Uh, and I was right, sorry about the lighting, right? We've got the light sitting there. The lighting out there is absolutely poor. I think it was like eight at night and it's only... It's quarter to four, right? So, yeah, I said before, I'm using the same... Do I put... I feel like I want to save it. Yeah, that's decent, isn't it? That's alright. I'm not going to fill it right up with coke, it's just, it's just a taster. Because normally I have it in a fancy glass. Um, so guys, like there you go, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Tears by Firefox. I don't know how much it cost, and I'm not going to ask because it's very rude, I think, to ask somebody how much something cost if it was a present. Um, and if it was for you, I would never ask somebody, did, would anybody do that? Would you ask some? see if someone got you a present, would you say to them, how much did that cost? Or would you leave it? I would never ask somebody. Never ever in my life. So, um, oh, another thing. Went up to the co-op, right? It's a two litre bottle of coke. For £1.60, but it had a 1.5 litre for £1.70. So, real lies, real lies, real lies. There we are, that's what I say. So I'll put the coke into it as well. And I'm not going to completely drown it. Right, I'll, just, I'll get a wee bit more. Right. Like I said before, I ha I've just had the, the monster in this glass cup thing. I've just rinsed it, because I can't be asked. I'm going to be downstairs to use two or three bloody glasses just to try it, so. Oh, it smells... It smells good. It smells good being... smell that kind of alien stuff I'm talking about. Hmm. It's nice. It is nice. It's not as sweet as Morgan Spiced. Uh, you can definitely tell it's rum, right? You can definitely tell it's rum. I may have put a wee bit too much coke in there, but I can still taste it easy. Um, when I poured rum and coke for myself, like a Morgan's, I like to make it a bit strong. I, can, I, I go through nearly the whole bottle in a night playing FIFA, but I end up paying for it the next day, obviously. Um, but it's, it's really nice. That rum is really, really nice. It isn't sweet. It's probably like half... The sweetness, couldn't get out of there. Half the sweetness of a Morgan Spice. Uh, so if you think Morgan Spice is too sweet for you, don't try Sailor Jerry's. But also don't, uh, if you think it's too sweet, try this one. Where did I put it? It's, uh, the Phoenix Tears. Give that a wee go. Um, it's really, really, really nice. It is for somebody, I think, who doesn't have a sweet tooth but likes rum. There we go, it's very weird way of saying it, but it's the way I'm going to say it. Uh, so it's really, really nice. I'm going to enjoy that. It's, it's something different because... Well... Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I like Morgan Spice and I like... Uh, Sailor Jerry's, I like things like that. But every so often it's nice to get something that's not your usual because then you get to... I don't know, appreciate things differently and try different things. So, I think I'll be having a few of them tonight playing FIFA. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's nowhere near as sweet. It's nowhere near as it is still sweet. It is, it is decent, but it's not like right as you're getting a fill in there. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say there. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. So what I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to go for an eight point five. Another point there. Eight point five out of ten. Uh, it is really, really nice. I, I thought it was going to be, I really thought it was going to be sweet. Like, almost like Morgan Spice or even sweeter. The fact it's not as sweet, I kind of like it. Because, do you know that way you get sick of things? Like, right now, Christmas has been and gone. I've had tons of chocolate. You can probably tell by the face. Um, and I went off chocolate a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm going more towards the savoury kind of side of things. So, I'm liking this now. I'm liking this this uh, Phoenix Tears. So that's 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. I would definitely have it again. I would definitely have it again. But the thing is, I've never seen it anywhere. I have never seen it in Asda, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Morrison's, Lulu, Aldi, all that stuff. I've not seen it. The first time I've seen it is when I opened it on Christmas, and <sighs> that is it. Uh, but I would definitely recommend it. Definitely, definitely recommend it. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have an absolutely smashing weekend, and. Cheerio.